In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can create this working tic tac throw system. And along with the rainbow line and the arrow, which indicates whose turn it is. For this script, you can uh, purchase the assets and the verse code on our Patreon. Uh, you'll need it for the rest of this tutorial. You want to go to verse and open the verse explorer and create a new verse file. Just name it tic tac throw verse create empty. And in there, you want to paste the script from a Discord. So just open the script and control C it. Then open this in Visual Studio and paste it in here. And you want to click on the name of your project, right click, and go to Show and Explorer. Then you can create a new folder, name it Assets. I already have one. And in there, you want to paste all of these assets from our Patreon. Then you'll have this folder. And then you can start by creating your map. So you want to get a background for your map. I'll use a plane like this. Make sure it's at the bottom of your map. I lost that weight. Plane. Like so, and then just move it up. So, now you can increase the skill. I'll just move it to zero or zero. I'll put it right here. You want to copy it and make it a bit higher. You can drag this texture on plane and then lower it again like so then you'll need to create some blueprints so you want to go into your assets and create a blueprint class you want to right click and create a blueprint class then you just want to copy these settings for the arrow so just grab the static mesh for the arrow Then just make sure the collision is set. Then just make sure it's set to resource metal and subcategory 2 so it can be damaged. Just save that one. I want to create a new one for the circle prop. So just do the same. And then also make sure it's at the resource is set and then you want another one for the cross prop like so and also change the resource type save that and another one for the wind line so and just make sure it's also resource wood and just keep selecting the right static mesh like so then you'll have all of them in here and then you can go into your first device and then you'll see you'll need some triggers so just grab a trigger device place it on a tile just increase the size okay. and then copy it nine times like so Grab all of them, change the settings, so make sure they're invisible, not triggered by player, triggered by damage. Turn these off, no VFX and no SFX. Now let's start naming them, so from the bottom right, your first style would be 0, 0. You want to go up, 0, 1, 0, 2, then it will be 0, 1, uh, 1, 0. 1-1, one, 1-2, one. One, yeah 1-2, one, two. then 2-0, two, 2-1, zero. Two, and 2-2. Two, two. 
like so. Now you want to add nine elements and just make sure they're in the right order. Like so. You want to get your tile width. So what you can do is just grab a random prop, like a chair, place it on the bottom right. And then you want to remember this X coordinate. So it's 400 for me. Then move it to the start of the next tile, which is 760. So one tile is 340. So we just enter 340 here. And then go in here and then your cross prop will be the one you have. So the prop crosses, which is mine. And prop circles will be the other one. And you'll need an explosive slice. Place it in the middle. And just under the under the map, change the settings so it can be damaged. No blast radius three, clear damage zero, structure damage to the max, no knockback, no audio VFX, not visible, and no health bar. Go back in here and select the explosive device. Then you need to grab three audio player devices. I'll just use three random sounds, it doesn't matter. But the first one you have will be your finish sound. So if the match ends, then you'll have another finish sound so if it's a draw. And you'll have this other one to hit audio when someone hits a square. Then what you'll need is another trigger. And you can add a background. So we just add another plane. Down. Let's go it up and grab a billboard. This one to zero, this one to 90. And then it will be uh, detectively reset. Enter, just increase the size, color to white. Robo to an light shadow. If you want it even bigger, you can just go up the billboard like so. And just copy one of these triggers and change the size. Like so. And then just name it reset trigger. And in here you want to add the reset trigger. So then you'll have the wind line. For me it will be This one, the blueprint, blueprint class of the rectangle prop. So I'll have it selected. Then your start was X and start was Y. So just grab another chair or any, or any prop. So just grab another chair or any prop and make sure it's on the first square and then the middle of the bottom. Right here to remember these x and y values so it'll be 570 530 for me so it'll be 570 530 map by it will just be zero because i put it at the bottom and you want to add mutator zones so if players are in here they'll get the weapon and they can play the game Make sure Make sure um, low weapon fire is on. There we go. Like so. And just add two elements and select the mutator zones. And you'll need an item grinder and item remover. So you need the item grinder. They're set to keep all. And I would use a slow pistol like a mammoth. 
we use the level five. Make sure it's set to trigger and clear. And for the item remover, just make sure it's the same same weapon. So I'll have the metal pistol. Like so. Just wait a second. And then you can go back into your first device. Select the grantor and the remover. Then if you want you can add the accolade device and you can change all the settings to how many uh, XP a person should get when they finish the game. You can add it in here. Then you need to go to the blueprint class of the arrow that you added and place the blueprint class down. Turn it 90 degrees. Like so, I'll just move it up and then go in here and select the arrow. For the rainbow material, just create a new material and add all of these notes by right clicking and just uh, adding a parameter for these ones. And just add all of these and make sure it's set to emissive color, base color this texture sample it will be the rainbow gradient. If you launch the session you can try it. And when you're loaded in you'll have the working tic tac toe system. I have the wrong uh, tile width but that's all right you can just change that. So thanks for watching and I hope this uh, tutorial was clear enough.